Pancreatic cancer is often called a silent disease because symptoms usually do not appear until the cancer is in its advanced stages. Despite medical advancements, survival rates remain low, making awareness and prevention critical in the fight against this silent killer. Dr. Francis Martin, general medicine and public health practitioner, said this form of cancer is not as prevalent in Grenada. Well, fortunately for us, uh, from my past years of clinical experience, pancreatic cancer is not a very common cancer here on the island. And I may dare say that in the Eastern Caribbean, it's again not a very, very common um, diagnosis. Um, thankfully, because the, the management of it is extremely difficult. Um, and if you, someone has pancreatic cancer, most likely they're going to die because the treatment can include radiation therapy, chemotherapy, or even surgery, but if, or a combination of all three. But even if that's the case, they tend to have a very, very difficult life. So in, in Grenada, in my clinical practice, I have not seen much pancreatic cancer at all. Early intervention remains key in overcoming this deadly illness. Research show that Grenada's age standardized death rate, ASMR, for pancreatic cancer is approximately 8.4 per 100,000, ranking it around the 17th highest globally. From 1990 to 2019, Grenada experienced one of the largest annual increases globally in both incidence and mortality, approximately plus 5.8 percent per year. While the exact cause of pancreatic cancer is not always known, several risk factors significantly increase the likelihood of developing the disease. Dr. Martin explained that the risk factors of pancreatic cancer are similar to those of other forms of cancer. So the risk factors for pancreatic cancer is similar to the risk factors for all other cancers that we know, people's lifestyle, especially lifestyle that include the risky things like smoking and drinking lots of alcohol. But you also find that uh, age in itself, as people grow older, they have a more tendency to form cancers. You may also have a genetic predisposition in a family member who may have had cancer, pancreatic cancer in the past, you increase chances of having it. The specificity of, of pancreatic cancer, though, is diabetes. Sometimes people with new onset diabetes or very difficult to control diabetes um, may be at an increased risk of um, having um, pancreatic cancer. The other thing is in, can, in pancreatic cancer specifically, they tend to happen more people with, in people over the age of 65. Some of the symptoms and recommendations were highlighted. Going for your, ab, uh, your, your usual yearly check and abdominal ultrasound from time to time may be able to see issues that the pancreas is overreacting, and that can help to early, early, early on um, diagnosis. But the the symptoms of it can be the usual kind of thing: abdominal pain, loss of appetite, weight loss, um, tiredness, or weakness. Um, like I said, newly diagnosed diabetes or diabetes that is very hard to control. Um, when the pancreatic cancer grows to a certain extent, it can cause blockage of the bile duct in the liver, and that can lead to jaundice. Um, the, what you do to prevent pancreatic cancer is the same thing you do to prevent all other cancers. Mm -hmm. Live a good life. Eat lots of fruits and vegetables, bright colored foods. Eat less processed foods. If you can stop using meats and processed foods, it's best for you. Pancreatic cancer begins in the tissues of the pancreas, an organ that plays an essential role in digestion and blood sugar regulation. Most pancreatic cancers start with the ducts of the pancreas or exocrine tumors, while a smaller portion arises in hormone-producing cells or endocrine tumors. Christina John, GBN News.